Okay, uh, this is Prince DJ, and uh, by the way, shout out and welcome to Big D Country to Officer, um, uh, Officer uh, Oswell. Um, he was the one that uh, got me not only to be able to go to uh, uh, to the Salvation Army, but Officer Oswell uh, also helped me to get it to a residential uh, residential facility for seven days. Uh, I am at the Wood Group as a behavioral health services uh, started here in uh, Texas City. Yeah. I'm no longer in Galveston, but it started since uh, 1980. Uh, the Woodland Group provides the following services in Texas. Uh, crisis for, uh, for the residential service. As you know, I almost had a, a, a breakdown yesterday because without warning, I was just thrown out in the streets, literally left to die. And uh, I was not sure of anything. And, uh, so it was just crazy. It was just terminal. But anyway, uh, it's crisis for residential services. Uh, the Wood Group provides crisis residential services that are designed to provide 24-hour supervision of a resident for a short period of time in order to be observed and assessed by the Community Behavioral Health Center. The length of stay in this program is normally 7 to 10 days. And this is what I might need. Psychological programming is part of the crisis residential programming offered to the residents. Residents in the program must be able to self-administer -medic uh, medication. All medications are monitored and uh, maintained by uh, train staff. So even, uh, even when I have my... Um, when I had my uh, over-the-counter medicine, I forgot my asthma medicine. I was so mad that I didn't have enough time to get everything that I wanted. I forgot my asthma medicine at the, uh, well, now the former Second Palace again. But, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm still, I'm still stressed out over there, but, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know, yeah, so, I don't know what I'm going to do without my asthma medicine, I don't know what I'm going to do, I left it there, I was, I was just really shaken up by the whole thing, not only losing my income, but also losing my place, and, yeah, okay, so, uh, crisis reference service, the food group, provides crisis weapons service uh, that are designed to provide 24-hour supervision of a resident for a limited time. Uh, the residents stay in the uh, crisis respite bed is determined by the need of the resident and the nature of their uh, crisis. Uh, residents in this program must abide by self-medication, self-administered medication. All medications are monitored, so uh, again, uh, they, they, uh, have my medication, uh, but, uh, they will, I will take it in their presence, and, uh, so this is, this is really new to me, but I'll be strangely enough, this is not like any other kind of mental hospital, it's like, nice residential room, very nice atmosphere, I was kind of surprised, I was scared that it was going to be like a regular type hospital, but, I'm pretty surprised. I'm real surprised. Uh, transportation living service, uh, traditional transitional living service. Uh, the work group provides transitional living service that are designed to provide 24-hour supervision of a resident to allow that resident to transition from a res uh, restrictive living environment to a independent uh, living structure. Uh, residents of the, this program will also be provided with uh, psychological skills programming, preparing them to transition to the to the less restrictive environment. Uh, they are comfortable with uh, uh, they are comfortable with residents in this program. 
uh, must be able to self administer medication. And again, all medications are monitored by staff. Assisted living services. Oh, this might be what I need too. Wow. Uh, the good group provide assisted living services that are designed to, to provide 24 hour supervision of residents for an extended stay. A uh, person who utilizes assisted living beds normally will be in the program for an extended amount of time. Uh, the list of service is determined by the needs of the resident. Residents in this program must be applied to self medication. And again, like I said before, uh, psychological rehabilitation training and services. I might get uh, try to see if I can get into this. Uh, the work group come. Uh, the work group contrasts with uh, community behavioral health center to provide uh, psychological rehabilitation training services uh, to customers of the center. The services are provided under arrangement with the local community behavioral health center. Uh, the consumers are provided with both with individual and group units. The amount of service received by each individual in programming is determined by assessment made by the by the community behavioral health center. The services are provided both on site and in the community. They also have supported housing services. Uh, the work community contract with Community Behavioral Health Center to provide supported housing service to mental health customers in their community setting. Uh, the majority of those services who are provided uh, to our customers who have been through our residential program and request us to continue to provide services in their community setting. Okay. Uh, transportation service, the work group uh, con contacts with individual community behavioral. Oh my God. Sorry. Community behavioral uh, type center to provide transportation services for uh, customers of our program. Uh, the transportation services are developed by a joint process with the community center and the uh, crew. Uh, counseling service, this is another one I'll probably try to get into. Uh, the work group will uh, contact with um, community behavioral health center or other mental health service provider uh, to provide in-depth information on developing residential programs to serve the community, their community. The information provided in counseling service will assist the community behavioral health center from finding a suitable, a suitable uh, property to attain a license. Oh, okay, so, okay. I don't know how to do that part, but anyway. <laughs> Intellectual and developable, developmental disability service uh, the work group provides a crisis response service for individuals with intellectual and developmental disability in a 24-hour supplies residential facility. Uh, these are services provided for both uh, adults and children. The work group also provides community services, support services to individuals and groups with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Okay. Uh, the services are provided on based upon the needs of the individual. They also do veterans administration and residential services. Uh, the work group provides short term uh, respite beds to veterans through the Veterans Administration in Big Spring, Texas. Uh, the work group works with the Big Spring Veterans Association administration to assure residents receive quality residential and clinical services. Residential services are provided to veterans based on administration and mission criteria developed by the uh, Veterans Administration. Emergency disaster service, the wood uh, group provides emergency disaster service for mental health customers who are in a threatening or 
occurring event of such destructive magnitude and force fo- uh, force to and force as to dislocate people. The local group determined will provide alternative housing for persons who are displaced. Uh, peer-to-peer crisis uh, uh, respite services. Uh, the work group provides a short-term community-based uh, residential crisis treatment to customers who have not, who have no risk of harm or self or self or others, and may have some functional in, in, implant who require direct supervision and care but do not require hospitalization. Uh, utilization of the service managed is managed by the LMHA based on medical necessary. Uh, the length of stay is to be determined by LMHA. The services are provided by a staff of uh, customers who have been trained in the peer-to-peer program. So that is where I am. I will give you the, I will get the website. Oops, so, yeah, I will get the website to, uh, so that you can look it up for yourself. So, oh, shoot, I did the wrong thing. Oops. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, they really have a lot here. So, I think I'm probably, for now, for seven days, I'm at the right place. I totally do need it. I wish I would, I wish I knew about this place a little bit earlier, even in the midst of everything that's going on. But, uh, but I'm here now. I'm here now. So, yeah. Uh, there will be the NFL pickup week three. Uh, on Tuesday, after all, and uh, yeah, the how I did V three, I did I was unaware and not sure how I'm gonna do V three. V four might be a questionable, but I'm not sure. But for now, I can do V three. So, uh, I will do V five probably sometime while I'm here to get that out the way. At least for the prediction, maybe I do five six. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Then all I had to do was the aftermath. So, okay. I just want to let you know who I am. I'm safe. I wasn't put here against my will. I was, uh, I was, I needed the help. I needed the help badly because I almost had another breakdown. And yes, they do check your, check and inventory your belonging. Uh, anything with alcohol is not allowed, but they do give it back to you when you leave. Uh, no nail clippers are allowed, but in case you need them, uh, they will let you uh, use it, but under their supervision. So, yeah. Uh, I'm kind of nervous. It's the first time I've been in a mental health facility, but at least it's not in a hospital-type setting. Hopefully, I'll do well here for seven days. And... Uh, Maybe I could see about uh, when the meetings is or something like that, though. I could try to get more help. All right. I will keep you posted on what's going on. I don't have a roommate yet. I hope I won't have to throughout my stay. But nonetheless, uh, yeah. Nonetheless, at least I'm safe. I'm not in the heat or anything like that. But... I'm good. And I'm not outside with those pesky daggone bugs. So, anyway. Oh. Oh. Wow. Anyway, this is a pretty day. I'm out.